to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 6th of June 2022. Holy Spirit, show me uh, the Divine Masculines who need to hear these messages. Look, we've got the Ten of Pentacles here, Four of Wands and Two of Swords. So, it looks like somebody's married or deciding to get married, possibly, to somebody. Maybe they want to come into union with their feminine here. So, Five of Wands. There's some kind of competition, though. So either this masculine is already married, and he wants to decide uh, to move away from his marriage so he can be with his uh, divine feminine, possibly. So he feels conflicted. This masculine feels conflicted with the Five of Wands here. I was sure that something flipped over. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Hearts. So he's in love. This masculine is already in a relationship, but he is in love. So he has to make a decision here. So, what is the Divine Masculine going to decide here? He's going to decide to keep the third party. Look at that. Three of Cups, third party. Partying with three women, possibly. We've got the Queen of Wands. Queen of Cups can be a married woman, and Queen of Wands could be like the lover, the other woman. So what he wants is a threesome, basically. Maybe that's what he's fantasizing, that he's going to have a threesome with these people, too. Let's take them out. So we've got the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups here. And like I said, Queen of Cups could be their wife and Queen of Wands could be the lover. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so he wants his cake and eat it too. Yes, he does. So, let's see what else here. I don't know if it's the same guy from the other reading, but it might be. From the Divine Feminine reading for today. Is it? I wonder. We also had earth and fire for the guy there. Like in the last couple of weeks, I keep seeing earth and fire. Or not actually less than a couple of weeks. Five of cups. Somebody's sad. Somebody wants to apologize. So why is he sad? Seven of cups. Because he's fantasizing about all his options. And he doesn't know if this is a... Okay, Ace of Cups, he has a new love here. 57 could be significant. So he's in love. Maybe this is the person he's in love with. Maybe he is with somebody who is... Um, the Queen of Wands could be somebody who's very attractive and maybe they chose this person to be in a relationship with them because of how attractive or popular this person is, okay? But they're actually in love with somebody else, somebody who is not that flashy because... Queen of Wands is usually much more flashy than the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is more like a wallflower. It's very somebody very sweet and gentle, but is not somebody who stands out much. So that's another possibility here, that uh, he is with this Queen of Wands because of the way it looks on paper, but he's actually in love with the Queen of Cups. That's another possibility. <sighs> yes, it's true. Four of Cups. So he feels... Um, he feels empty without her, basically. That's what I'm getting. That she's the one who fills his cup here. Also, I think the Queen of Cups has turned into the Queen of Swords and is rejecting the Ace of Cups from this masculine with the Four of Cups. Because she knows that he's in another relationship and he wants to have his cake and eat it too. Yeah, he wants his wishes to be fulfilled. Nine of Cups. Yes, again, Knight of Swords clarifying... Knight of Swords is also a very clear yes. So, um, 94 could be significant. The year 1994 could be significant. 94 and 57 could be significant numbers here. Okay. Eight of Wands. I think he wants to communicate with Divine Feminine here. Also, he could be very, he could be sending a lot of sexual energy towards her. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely a separation here. So it's it, the co connection is all, only in the 5D. is only uh, spiritual. Nine of Wands. Somebody's very guarded. Also, somebody doesn't know how to move forward. Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Exactly. Somebody doesn't know how to move forward. And I got the Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. Like somebody just waiting around. For something to grow, from for something to change, for some it's like they're at, waiting for the apple to fall, like Newton. Does the moon fall too? King of Cups. 
Yeah, so he's in love. He's been in love with this woman for a very long time. That's what I'm getting, possibly seven years or more. Um, but at the same time, even though he has very deep feelings, he's not expressing his feelings. I wonder why. Like I said, they, they probably have somebody else. Maybe they've been with this person for a while now. <sighs> Did this King of Cups know the Queen of Cups before the Queen of Wands? Did the King of Cups know the Queen of Cups before he knew the Queen of Wands? Yes. Yes, so this masculine has been in love with this Queen of Hearts for a very long time, but he's never expressed it because the King of Cups usually keeps a secret. He doesn't talk about his feelings, even though he's very aware of them. So yes, this guy has known this Queen of Hearts for a very long time, but he preferred to, to choose somebody else over her. And like I said, possibly because of looks or how it looks on paper or how what people think, people around him think. Six of Pentacles. Yes, exactly. So he chose this woman because of what people around him think. Nine of Swords, Six of Wands. Because of um, how it looks. Right? This could be somebody who's very attractive and popular, right? And everybody's uh, envious of this guy having this attractive woman on his side. But actually, it's it's causing more headache and more anxiety than it is causing um, happiness. So it's like behind the scenes is the Nine of Swords and what they're showing is the Six of Wands. Okay, so this is somebody who's very um, superficial. Three of Pentacles. Again, it's also somebody who cares a lot about what people think of him. This guy could have some... Yes, exactly. Look, yes, King of Wands, the King of Fame. <laughs> okay. Well, popularity at least, Ten of Wands. But he's burdened by all this fame here. The Fool. So this is somebody who could be in the public eye in one way or another. So he chose somebody who um, people would expect him to date. Okay, rather than the person that they actually love. Okay. King of Pentacles, King of Wands, all the kings are out. No, the King of Swords is missing, isn't it? Um, this is somebody who has a lot of authority. So they're some kind of authority figure or they're in the public eye where they are <coughs> influential in some way in their community. So they have to show a certain um, image to the community. Okay, right. So, yes, exactly what I just said. <laughs> Eight of Cups, so that's why he walked away from the person he really loves. But secretly, Scorpio energy, King of Cups, Eight of Cups, he loves her. Okay, so what? What's next? Because this is all so that's happening. Everything uh, I'm talking about here is happening in somebody's head. There's nothing happening in the Two of Cups. So what will happen is the Two of Cups. The King of Cups might go towards the Queen of Cups and offer her love. Five of Swords. Hmm. But with the Five of Swords, it might be like, um, it might really, really be a trick or I don't know. Does this guy have bad intentions towards the feminine? Knight of Wands, he has the intention to sleep with her. Nine of Pentacles, but I think, um, I think he's going to leave her alone after that. Does this masculine have any intention to do right by this feminine? Holy Spirit, show me the truth. Does this masculine have any intention to do right by the feminine? Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. He wants to work. He wants to put in an effort. So maybe he will, but will he separate from the person he's with right now? Because I wasn't. I was shown that he wants to keep the third party. That he just wants to have... Uh, her on the side like a... so he is planning he's making some kind of plan to separate from the other person but um, I don't think this person is actually um, going through with the plan yet has this guy asked file for divorce no he's holding on four of pentacles he's holding back he hasn't filed for divorce okay eight of cups but he wants to there you go and to come towards the feminine Two of Pentacles, but he's juggling. The Fool clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. So it's like he's playing. He's still playing. He's still playing games here. 
Yes, Seven of Swords, look at that, Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, King of Swords, Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. So I've got, uh, yeah, two yeses here. Okay, Ten of Swords. Is this masculine going to betray the feminine, yes or no? Is this masculine going to be betray her? Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords. Trap. He wants to trap her in some kind of way. How does he want to trap her? With the Four of Swords, King of Swords. <clears throat> he He's making some kind of plan to trap her some way. Uh, he wants to sleep with her. Maybe he wants to get her pregnant or something. A pregnancy could be. Ace of Pentacles can be a pregnancy. Um, so he might be planning to take her to bed, right? And get her pregnant. Ten of Swords. Four of Swords. Definitely he wants to betray her. I don't know. Um... This resonates with the other reading. Why does he want to betray her? Why is this guy planning to betray? Three of Wands reversed. Ten of Swords. Oh my god, look at that. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords. Maybe he feels betrayed by her in his mind. He could feel betrayed by her in some kind of way. Let's see what the hell this is. This masculine feels betrayed by his Divine Feminine. Holy Spirit, why does this guy feel betrayed by Divine Feminine? Why does this guy feel betrayed by Divine Feminine? Free of Swords, Heartbreak. Free, free. Free of Swords, Free of Cups. There could be a third party. Maybe she has a third party too. Maybe both of them have third parties. But it's you see how hypocritical it is. He has somebody else, but he's mad at her for having somebody else. So... It looks like this masculine left this feminine behind and started another relationship. And possibly she started a relationship too, or she's planning to. And he he sees that as a betrayal. Six of Cups, 36 could be significant. Okay, she might have children too. She might have a child or she might be pregnant or something like that. So she started a family. Knight of Wands. Six of Swords. She could also have moved away with the Knight of Wands and the Six of Swords. Yeah, so this person has left the building. Like, Divine Feminine has completely moved on. And that's why he feels betrayed. So he wants to come in and ruin her relationship or something. Seven of Wands to block her from love. So he's just coming in to block the Feminine from love. Eight of Swords. Yeah, he wants her to be trapped. Uh, he wants her to be alone, to be uh, rejected. Yes, exactly. So he just wants revenge because she moved on to... So this guy, it sounds like a psychopath. This person sounds like a sociopath or a psychopath or something. Three of Wands. Six of Wands. Yes, bingo, victory. Look, 36 came out twice. So maybe one or both of these people could be 36 years old. Could be. Anything else? Queen of Wands. Maybe the Queen of Wands, whoever is a fire sign here, could be 36. If there's a fire sign, Ten of Swords. Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Yet yeah, he wants to put an end to her relationship. She could have a family too. She could have children possibly with a Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Ten of Swords. He wants to end her relationship. That's all he wants. And I don't think he's going to uh, end his relationship, is he? Yeah, he might trick this woman into ending her relationship for him. And then he won't end his relationship, you know? Yes, exactly. That's what he wants. Look at that. This is a yes for me. Queen of Pentacles is committal. King of Wands is non-committal. The fool. So he wants her to make a foolish decision to sleep with him, possibly. And to leave his current, her current partner. But then he's going to flee. He's not going to leave his current partner. He's just going to get her to leave, leave her current partner. Am I right? Is this the plan? Is this the plan? Four of Pentacles. Yes, Ace of Cups. So he's holding on to his stability. He's holding on to his money, to his family. But he wants her to let go. Yep. Okay, yes, again, 
this is a yes for me again four of swords and he's gonna ghost another yes this is the clearest yes you can get he's gonna ghost her basically king of cups with the king of cups here i feel like um he's highly manipulative five of wands and he's he likes to cause a lot of conflict for her he wants her to be conflicted seven of pentacles to be stuck eight of cups eight of wands also this guy um is probably after he leaves her he possibly is going to um gossip about her too king of pentacles four of cups he's gonna say that he rejected her and stuff if so basically he's gonna promise commitment He's gonna sleep with her, then he's gonna walk away, and if she tries to contact him again, he's gonna reject her. He's gonna leave her out in the cold, and then say that she's a crazy stalker, and all of that stuff, you know what I mean? Anything else? Yes, it's true. Seven of Cups reversed has been revealed. That's the truth. 